Revealed to me the day I held aloft my magic sword and said, By the power of Grayskull! Hello, this is just uh, a quick review of um, the open bit uh, demo thing that's on the PS Store for Battlefield. Um, I literally just downloaded it this morning. Um, I know it came out on the 31st, came out yesterday, but it was too late by the time I found out, so I, I just thought I'll wait till the morning. Um, but this is my first impressions like of the game. Like this game play is literally the very first few seconds I joined. I put it in from the very beginning. Um, somebody, whoever's driving the tank, has just got the horn pressed in for some reason. I don't know why. Keeps pressing the horn in. Um, but basically, if you, I'll just give you a quick thing on the layout. Um, at the top, you've got A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That's like the checkpoints. Um, and at the top is the kill count um, of like each team so in the middle of the screen just at the bottom there's that pentagon with the circles in that's the tank and the numbers are um, people and then you press X see how the empty seat's got X in there number three is just taking the empty seat and now number four is empty but you can have up to five people in and if you, even if you're sitting in number one and you're driving you can like press X and go to a different gunner position anytime you want so essentially you can drive it by yourself drive it into position and then just change seat, uh, position and then just fucking start shooting but basically it's a bit like um, Star Wars it's a bit like Battlefront you've got um, just a massive open battlefield basically uh, just to have a massive wall. There's two different modes. There's um, Conquest, which is what this is. It's just like a full out all on all war. It's a bit like um, Star Wars in that respect. And then there's a the one called Rush, where I think it's only so many people um, on each team. It's not like a, a massive uh, battle. But um, I have I played the old battlefields briefly. I've never actually owned one. Um, my best mate got into them and he loved them. Um, if you can hear us coughing there, that's because I got I had my headphones in when I was recording it. Um, I had my headphones in when I was recording it, so it's picking us up like coughing and shit. But just um, this is where you can at the very beginning where you're picking your what squad you want to be a part of. I just picked them because they had the most people in it. And this is the map when you very first start. And just see the, the Turkish flag? That's your base. And all the others are checkpoints that you've got to like uh, fight to keep. It's just the same as um, any um, checkpoint kind of capture the flag thing. But it's got a World War One theme. So, you know, it's really true to the time. And one, one thing I do like about this is the sound effects. Because, um, like I say, I was playing with my headphones on. You've got your sound effects, you've got the old... Uh, the graphics are good. Plus, you've got um, destructible environments. So, like, if you're in a tank and you start, like, shooting at a house, it'll, you can shoot down to the ground so there's nothing left. And it comes in handy. It makes the environment, like, feel very realistic. When you're having a fight and there's like a sniper up in the window and you're in an armoured car or a van or uh, like a tank or something. Oh, yeah, okay. And then you end up having... He's got a sniper. And then you end up having a... Um, like a shot at the sniper in the window and you can just demolish that whole quarter of the house. And you kill him in the process. It's I don't know, it's just, it makes it very real and dynamic, the um, environment. I, I really like that touch. Uh, like I say, you can be planes, you can be tanks, and you can also ride a horse, which is really good. But it's solid, in my opinion. Like I thought it was rock hard. Like you'll see towards the end of the video, I'm on my horse and um, I just get killed straight away. Like I know it's absolutely brutal. <laughs> Look at that man, I'm getting killed straight away. I know it's absolutely brutal online, on any game really. Um, but this is no different. I mean, this is the actual footage of us just putting it on. And I was literally spawning in, and somebody was killing us, and then I was spawning in, I was getting in a tank, and then I was getting blown up. 
I was spawning in. I was then somebody would pick us up with a sniper. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! I've just I've got no chance. Yeah, I'm just getting fucking absolutely tortured. But uh, <clears throat> I didn't mind because that's what it's like until you get the hang of it. But I was on with like one of my friends earlier, and we were had the microphones oh, in so yes. we could hear each other. And we were like um, so working together, and we were in a tank. He was on the gunner position, and I was driving around, and we ended up doing really well. So. You know, I think it just depends on uh, if you're just running around in the open and you're bound to get picked off. It's like a real war. You've got to just oh, uh, thinking this is trying to fly a plane. Oh, fuck's <laughs> you, <man>. It's, <definitely laughs> it's absolutely reverse, solid. Yeah. Everything's in reverse. Like you know, it's upside down. So like you push forward and you go down. You press down and you go up. I know that's the normal controls for a plane, but you can swap the axes. I think I haven't actually tried. But I can imagine so you you'll be able to. Um but everything happens through your right stick. It's a bit like uh Battlefront where you're flying your X Wing. Left stick, which would normally be steering, that's your throttle, forward and back on those planes. And then your right stick is your pitch and your roll. So it's a bit weird getting used to it and that's why every time I panicked I would press instinctively I'd press the wrong direction and end up um just nose diving into the floor instead of pulling up. It was so frustrating. But um, you can get used to that after a while. Um, and you can go into third person view as well, which is really good. Oh, fuck! <laughs> getting proper stressed out because I wasn't uh, I wasn't getting any kills. But the graphics are really good. The sounds really good. Um, it's all true to the actual time, so all the weapons are accurate. All the vehicles are like military accurate of the time. It's just great. Like, it's everything you want from a first-person shooter. But, as I was talking to that, like, that lad online, I was saying to him, is it just multiplayer like Star Wars, or do you have a first-person campaign? And uh, he said that there will be a first-person campaign. A bit like, um, what's that one everybody else plays? Um, fucking God of War. Uh, Call of Duty, you know, where you have got a story campaign as well as just being able to do online, because this is just the multiplayer online for people to have a little taste of it. But if it's like this on the one player mode, I would love that because the story campaign would be amazing because it's so authentic. There's like, you know, it's really good for details and stuff like that. So I would definitely um, want to do that. So I don't really know. <coughs> If there is a campaign, I haven't really... Uh, I'm just thinking about it now. But if there is, that'll be amazing. But like I say, I, I absolutely loved it. Uh, I only played it for a little while. Uh, about an hour or something. Um, and like I say, I don't like normally playing online. Because people don't give you a chance. But if you do give it a chance, then you will stand a chance. <laughs> so... Um, that's all I can say, really. I mean, I think... I can't remember how... I think it's from... Um, the 31st yes, of August man. up until the... Get the fuck out like, of this the 7th... The 7th of September, I think. But uh, this is on the horse. So, I mean, that's the only aim you've got. You can look around and shoot. But it's absolutely solid because when you're under attack... It's hard to get your aim, but I later discovered if you tap your L3 and you sprint, so you can like you're very agile. You can turn quickly. So if someone yeah. sees you, don't stand still. You know I've discovered how to sprint, <laughs> but you don't Seven stand still. Five. Move around. Like if you're on a horse, you're agile as fuck, so you can just like do circles around them while you're trying to get your aim and it's harder for them to try and shoot you than if you just come to a standstill and then try and aim at them. I suppose it's like real life, it's the skill of being on a horse and being able to shoot at the same time. But see what I mean? Like he just was lying down and picked us off, even though I was moving around. Now this is at the very beginning before any of the posts have been taken. And I'm trying to get into a plane again here. <clears throat> but you can pick a tank or you can pick a horse, or you can just go to the base and start from there. But the green dot I later found out was um, 
the other person who's online, like me or the friend, so you can spawn in where they are at any time as long as they're alive. So let's say I've, and I've discovered that you can go into uh, thingy mode, third person mode I think on this, I can't remember. But a lot of the time I would be getting too close to the floor and I'd instinctively like push the wrong direction so the little space I did have I used it up with the wrong manoeuvre and I ended up smashing off the floor and shit like that and you know committed suicide every single time and the plane like it's solid but uh, I'm going to keep practicing because like I say it's only for a week or something so if you like the look of it go and download it now as soon as um, and that's it really.